Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is HD StarCraft, and I'm here to bring you guys game number two between SK's MC and EG's Huck. It's a Protoss versus Protoss battle. First game going to MC in a pretty good fashion. You know, he uh, he, he did it right. He did it right. EG Huck even giving him the Sugoyo here, and uh, we will see if Huck can pull it back here in game two. You know, I I don't want to even say that Huck just completely got owned because it. it he did, but at the same time, it is a Protoss versus Protoss matchup. And you have to remember, it's a matchup that revolves around a lot of crazy things. Uh, and, and one wrong build, one wrong research, one correct move, the, the missed micro of a single unit can really snowball into an area where you cannot recover. And, uh, you know, I, I think that Huck did go for a strategically what you would imagine a brilliant move he tried to warp prism his units down the the main base um you know i'm just kind of everything coming back to me here i want to talk about this but he warp prismed everything down the main base um and tried to surround that army but what he didn't realize i don't know if he saw it was there was a pylon right there and the pylon was reporting that vision back to mc and mc was able to prepare and what mc did which was so brilliant was he let the units come out first and then he went in for the kill and I, I, I don't know why Huck, I think that was the wrong decision, you know, but maybe he didn't see the pylon. If he, if, if he didn't know the pylon was there, then that move is brilliant because he's able to surround the Protoss army of, Huck, of, of MC. So it's, it's really kind of, oh, I did that, but it sucks that, it was, that there was a pylon there and my opponent was able to reinforce and he had total vision of what I was doing. So uh, MC did take that first game. We'll see what happens here in game two though, as there's this assimilator coming up for both players. Uh, in fact, the assimilator has already been finished for Huck, who's beginning to mine gas at a little bit faster rate than his opponent. Um, has his cybernetic score coming up a little bit earlier as well. Seems like Huck's build order overall just a bit more streamlined right now. Um, and uh, everything just a, a, a few hairs, a few ticks faster, if you will. And uh, that could be as a result of him cloning his workers on the closest mineral patches um, early on in the game. You'll see, you'll notice a lot of pro players will put two probes. Look at the closest mineral patches here. It's this one, it's this one, it's this one. And there will always be two probes mining on the closest ones for in a pro game. They'll always do that. It looks like MC also has that going on for him. The distant patches won't have two probes right away. They'll eventually get it, but early on in the game, it's important to get that quick lead because it can lead towards... I don't know, an earlier warp gate, which can totally uh, win the game for you. So uh, it, it really is quite important. And uh, it looks like we do have a probe coming in here for Huck, just kind of doing the dance. Not quite as uh, as many hip moves as the Immortal earlier. Uh, and it looks like Huck going to try to get out of the base right now, and he will be able to do that. Meanwhile, Huck throwing down a second and a third warp gate back at home. Got a warp prism, uh, excuse me, got the upgrade going down on that cybernetic score for the warp. Uh, warp gate <laughs> too many warp warp in uh, maneuvers for protoss warp gate warp prism warp warp in i'm just it's just so confusing sometimes but uh huck coming in around the backside here with this pi a probe and most likely going to look to erect some pylons and whoa we have a quick expansion out of mc one gate expand and following that up with three gates so a total of four gates to keep this expansion safe now the thing here is in pvp this matchup we have been seeing more expansion timings in the matchup overall it is possible but you really have to make your units count you have to hold off the aggression and i bet you huck will try to attack this nexus first uh excuse me the nexus after the gateway the problem though is huck doesn't know it's up in fact huck tried to go in here with this probe but because there was a stalker out on the field the stalker and zealot he was not able to scout the nexus so right now huck doesn't know there's a nexus up However, I don't think he, that's going to deter him no matter, uh, regardless. I mean, in PvP, you attack, you know? It doesn't matter if there is an Nexus or there isn't, you're going to attack regardless. So uh, here we go. Huck going to prepare up. And once he sees his Nexus, he knows he's going to have to break it down. And he sees it. Sentry going to get a couple of shots on its shieldings, but will survive. And Huck has a lot more units here. And that's because, you know, MC invested 400 minerals into this Nexus. And this is a very tense situation right now for MC. But he comes out with more Stalkers. Trying to get that sucker down, he gets it. Brilliant play, and unbelievably, MC has more units here, but reinforcements arriving for Huck, but Huck not microing his Stalker away uh, earlier, ends up losing it. It's all about Stalker control here, and it really looks like Huck actually, with the Zealot and Sentry here, will have enough forces to push the army away, but of course, reinforcements will always be streaming in. 
keep your eyes on that Stalker count. Stalkers are the highest intense firepower unit here with the range. It helps to keep them alive. You have to keep them up. You cannot allow them to die. We can see here that Zealots are also a good meaty tank unit to help absorb some shots and force the enemy to micro his Stalkers. And uh, it looks like Huck was pushed away. But, uh, you know, even though he didn't kill off this Nexus, I think that he has a better supply lead. 45, yeah, 45 over 31. 27, he has more probes right now, and that's the reason why. Um, that advantage will not last for a very long time because of the second set of Chrono Boost, because of the second Nexus. So Hug knows he's got to do more damage. He's coming in here with the Stalkers and the Sentries. MC totally in a defensive position. Takes off another Stalker. Good moves by MC. And he's got to fight, focus fire these down. Keep in mind that having your Stalkers in a firing line so they can all shoot at once is also another important trick when it comes to positioning your, mi your Stalkers and the micro involved with them. More Stalkers coming in from the south side for Huck here, trying to bait these Stalkers away. He loses one, however. He picks off a Stalker here. He will pick it off. If he could get one more shot off, it's so close. It's running away, and he is able to kill it off right there. Nice control right from Huck. But it's not over yet. He still has not been able to damage this Nexus or even hurt any of the probes. And right now, if he does not, this is the thing. He can continue to play this cat and mouse game, but he's got to get a Nexus of his own. He's got to save up 400 minerals to try to get a Nexus down. Otherwise, the moment he backs off, he's going to find himself in a two base to one base situation that he cannot recover from. And Huck knows that. He's trying to pull back right now, trying to continue to micro, bringing in more aggressive units. And it's like Huck is making up his mind. Do I throw down 400 minerals for a Nexus? It doesn't seem like has been able to save up enough because he keeps investing the money into more stalkers and at some point you've got to make the right decision is it right to continue making stalkers to be aggressive or do i get a nexus down and we can see a zealot coming in from mc from this proxy pylon to the north uh just checking to see is there a nexus coming no there isn't he comes up oh it's gonna be a full scout he sees the blink being researched or is it charged he doesn't know but it most likely blink obviously because there's so many stalkers right now and MC knows now exactly what's going on. He knows, and in fact, you guys as viewers should know as well, it's going to come down to Huck going on one base with Blink Stalkers against the two bases of MC. And MC will have to play defensively. He will have to ramp up enough forces to combat the Blink. We are not going to see an expansion out of Huck. It is extremely weird if he throws out a Nexus right now. Um, I, I would be totally shocked and surprised. What we're going to see from Huck is a, a, a one base attack here with all of his Blink Stalkers. And uh, the victory of this game hinges on whether or not he's able to do enough damage and end the game outright. Um, it's possible we could see a transition out of this. And let's say he kills off the Nexus and he loses most of his army. And both, both sides kind of lose a lot of their army. It's possible we'll see a transition into some other uh, mid-game, late-game scenario. But it's unlikely. Uh, Blink is about to finish up here for Huck. He is, ooh, you know what he could do as well is get a pylon down on these southern ridges. And if he can get a unit up here, he can immediately reinforce... Um, his units right away and look at the concave from MC man he knows what's coming he's got his stalkers in position but the blink can completely circumvent the concave and Huck should blink in no you will not he's actually going to use the sonic style blink back micro and oh wow Huck you know with that blink I don't think he's going to lose this war he's going to be able to reinforce right away with more stalkers and MC is totally outnumbered out controlled and out tech it's going to be Huck taking this second game and that is why going Nexus first is so hard to pull off. MC just showing it right there. Huck taking a decisive victory with his blink. And you can see, you know, at one point in this game, let me just rewind for you guys. Huck was thinking, do I expand? Do I throw down 400 minerals right now to get a Nexus? And his, this probe was literally sitting here for like a minute. It was thinking, do I do it? And he, he was so close. At one point, I think he had like 300 something. And he was saving up, saving up, saving up. But then he said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going for the attack. I'm going to go for Blink upgrade on Twilight Council. I'm going to go on one base. And it was the right decision. It was the right call. Um, seeing as how the game worked out, obviously, if he had thrown down the Nexus, what one of the things that might have happened was obviously he would have had less units. He would have had to play catch-up from that far behind. The thing is, the longer he waits, the more it makes sense for him to just play one base. If he's going to go for this, this Nexus and try to catch up, earlier is better than later. So... Uh, we can see Huck made the right decision right there, and it, it was a, that was a really, really deep PvP game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, game 3 will be coming out next, and uh, the conclusion between Huck and MC from Red Bull Battlegrounds. HD, signing out.